Okay, today we gonna talk about mechanic of materials. Okay, first, mechanic of material. We study about the mechanics of deformable body. Okay, mechanics of deformable body. So first, we must study about the definition of deformable body. In the previous lecture or in the previous subjects, we study about mechanics or static. When we study static, we study about the mechanic of rigid body. What is rigid body? The definition is that if you have point A and B and then have some distance and then you apply some force this force F1 and this force F2 and then after you apply some forces the length of AB remain the same we can define this body as rigid body okay rigid body is the body when you apply some forces the length between between two lines between two between two parts sorry are the same we call it as rigid body but if you apply some force and then the length change or deform we call that body as deformable body so for mechanic of material we study about the mechanic of deformable body okay we will again rigid body when you apply some force the length a b remain the same Deformable body, if you apply some force, the length AB between two parts will be different. Okay, before we study, we will review you some about the force. The first one is external force or external loads how many types of external force okay first is surface force was it 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 is a force that's applied on the area if we reduce to the point the force act on the point we call concentrated force or point load and if we have the force that acts along the line we call it as distributed load if it's linear we call it as linear distributed load okay another force is that body force body force is the force that the other another 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 body exerts on this body for example weights so surface force concentrated force line force or distributed force and body force is 
sorry, uh, external force. Uh, external force. Okay. For surface force, example, when you run a bicycle, the force on the ground that exert on the bicycle will make with the area of the contact. But for simplification, we can idealize this of surface force into point force or point load is the load act on the point so if you reduce the area to the point we change from surface force to concentrated force okay for linear distributed load okay you make a review a little review you will study in statics okay we have a distributed load for example the load on the beam okay two things which is very important first one resultant force equal area under the distributed load curve mean that if you want to find the equivalent force or resultant force of this distributed load you must change to one force like this we call this resultant force what is the magnitude of this resultant force the magnitude of this resultant force equal to the area of this curve or this graph so the height of this rectangular is the in intensity of the force or sometimes we know it as the force per unit length this height and this is the length so if you want to find the magnitude of this resultant force you multiply this height with this length and then you get the magnitude the second thing you might find the location for the force where do the force apply this force will apply through the centroid of curves or geometrics of this area okay so if you have this rectangular the force will apply through the middle of this area apply here Okay, this is the point of applications. So, the concept for this distributed load, you might find two things. You make this picture equivalent to this picture. First, the magnitudes is the area under this curve the second thing the point of applications must pass through the centroid of this curve okay the body force or the weight you can see that 
it will exert from another body maybe from the earth for the case of the weight exert or exert on this body and then generate the weight so you can notice that this force generate without any direct contact okay this is the body force so in summarize external forces or external loads we can consider like this first one surface force the second one concentrated force or the force along the line like linear distributed load or maybe body force okay the next clip we will talk about the reaction force and internal force okay don't forget mechanics of materials we study about the deformable body okay thank you for the first click